First up, we have Avowed. Now, this one's got me personally excited. Developed by Obsidian Entertainment, the same geniuses behind Pillars of Eternity and the Outer Worlds, Avowed invites us to the living lands of Eora. Imagine stepping into a world teeming with magic, mystery, and ancient lore, all viewed through a first-person lens. The game's set in the same universe as Pillars of Eternity, but this time you're in the middle of the action. You can expect immersive storytelling, dynamic combat, and an evolving world where your choices truly matter. Obsidian promises a blend of traditional RPG elements like intricate dialogue and decision making, with fast paced combat that lets you wield powerful magic and weapons. And if Obsidian's track record is anything to go by, we're definitely in for something special. I can't wait to see what secrets the Living Lands hold when it comes to Xbox and Game Pass in 2025. Next, we're heading to Japan in Assassin's Creed Shadows. Picture this, you're switching between a lethal shinobi and a powerful samurai, navigating a beautifully chaotic world during the Sengoku period, a time of political upheaval and war. The idea of mastering two distinct fighting styles and merging them to create something truly unique is definitely very intriguing. Stealth, agility and brutal swordsmanship combine to offer a fresh gameplay experience unlike any Assassin's Creed game before it. Plus, with the ability to customise your hideout, build a shinobi league and even engaging large-scale battles, it's clear that Ubisoft is pushing the boundaries of what to expect from an Assassin's Creed game. The dual perspective also adds a fresh layer of depth to the narrative, with stories that intersect and influence each other, and honestly, I'm all in for ushering in a new era for Japan. Remakes are all the rage nowadays in gaming, and that means you can get the chance to partake in an adventure from 20 years ago, and that's the Gothic 1 Remake. This iconic RPG will take you to a realm where a magical mishap has led to a group of prisoners seizing control of a kingdom's valuable mine. Set in a richly detailed world, the game will feature a reimagined combat system that builds upon the original's mechanics, but with modern enhancements for a smoother experience. Characters, quests, and environments have also all been reworked to reflect the latest in gaming technology, while keeping the original's gritty and immersive atmosphere intact. If you're excited for the Gothic 1 remake, it is still slated for a full 2024 release. Now, let's talk about Amazon's big MMO, New World. Originally making waves on PC, this supernatural action RPG is finally making its way to Xbox consoles. Set during the twilight of the Age of Exploration, you'll find yourself shipwrecked on the mysterious island of Eternum. This place is a mix of beauty and danger, filled with ancient secrets, powerful magic, and countless opportunities for combat and crafting. The game's open world features player-driven settlements, dynamic events, and a PvPVE system that really encourages both cooperation and competition. The blend of historical elements with supernatural forces gives New World a very unique vibe, with an evolving storyline that really reacts to player actions and choices. Choices. It's all about forging your destiny, and trust me, this one will keep you hooked for hours. Unknown Nine Awakening is one of those games that just draws you in with its mystery. You will play as Haruna, a young woman with the ability to access a mysterious dimension known as the Fold, and this is a parallel reality that overlaps our own and is filled with so much hidden knowledge and ancient secrets. The game's rich narrative will see you exploring a beautifully rendered cityscape while uncovering the secrets of the Fold. You can expect a blend of puzzle solving, stealth and exploration as you navigate this mind-bending world. Haruna's journey isn't just about mastering her powers though, it's about surviving a world that sees her as both a saviour and a threat. This game isn't just about exploration, it's about uncovering layers of hidden history and using your powers to influence the world around you. Dragon Age fans, I bet you're excited for October of this year. Dragon Age The Veil Guard is shaping up to be the next big chapter in Thaler's history. You'll take on the role of Rook, a new hero tasked with stopping two ancient gods who have broken free from centuries of darkness. Bioware is doubling down on what made the series great, promising deep companion relationships, tactical combat and expansive interconnected environments. The world of Thedas has always been rich with lore, but this time it's bigger and more interactive than before, with more branching paths, complex moral choices, and epic storylines that are bound to keep us all hooked. Plus, with a team of seven companions, each with their own unique stories and motivations, this story looks like it's going to be an unforgettable experience. Moving on, we've got Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl, a game that's been on everyone's radar for quite some time now. Set in the post-apocalyptic Chernobyl exclusion zone, Stalker 2 promises to deliver a mix of survival horror, immersive sim elements, and open-world exploration that's both gritty and atmospheric. The zone is a living entity filled with mutated creatures, deadly anomalies, and a haunting sense of dread. What really makes this game stand out is its A-Life 2.0 system, where the world continues to change even when you're not looking. Factions battle for control, mutants roam the streets, and the weather shifts dynamically. The non-linear storyline also ensures 
ensures that every playthrough is unique, with choices that ripple out and change the world in surprising ways. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is bringing us back to the unforgiving medieval world of Bohemia. The first game was all about its historical accuracy, and the sequel is pushing that realism even further, and you can expect improved combat mechanics, deeper role-playing elements, and a larger, more detailed world. From jousting tournaments to castle sieges, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 really promises a rich, immersive experience where every action and decision really counts. The intricate crafting system, coupled with an emphasis on realistic survival mechanics like food, sleep and stamina, ensures that you're not just playing a game, but you're actually living it. Crimson Desert is one game that's been turning heads ever since its reveal, and we've finally got to see more gameplay of boss battles at Gamescom this year. Developed by Pearl Abyss, the creators of Black Desert Online, this game takes us to the unforgiving lands of Pywall, where you'll lead a band of mercenaries through a world filled with conflict and intrigue. The game blends action-packed combat with story-driven quests, all set in a dynamic evolving world that reacts to your choices. With its gorgeous graphics, dynamic weather and day and night cycles, Crimson Desert offers a living world that feels truly alive. Whether you're fighting enemies, forging alliances or just wanting to explore the vast wilderness, this game is all about making your mark in this brutal, unforgiving landscape. This is one game that's truly high on my own personal list, and I can't wait to get my hands on it when it arrives sometime in 2025. Before we dive back into the remaining open world games, please consider subscribing to keep up to date with all things Xbox. We upload every single day and love covering everything within the realms of Xbox. Let me know down in the comments below what game you would like to see on Xbox Game Pass. I'm always interested to hear your suggestions, and hopefully the Xbox team might be listening. With that out the way, let's dive back into the remaining open world games. Now, who isn't excited about the return of Fable? This beloved franchise is getting a reboot, and it's in the hands of Playground Games, the team behind the Forza Horizon series. Fable will retain its signature charm, humour and whimsical world building while introducing a beautifully reimagined Valbian to explore. You can expect more choices that affect your character's appearance and the world around you, a vibrant living ecosystem full of oddball characters and quests that can be approached in multiple ways. With the current gen hardware powering it, this is shaping up to be the most immersive Fable experience yet, complete with stunning visuals and a world that's as quirky as it is dangerous. EXE Killer is a game that blends the best of cyberpunk and western genres into a unique post-apocalyptic world. You play as a bounty hunter in a lawless land, navigating a world filled with advanced technology and old west aesthetics. With a mix of open world exploration, intense gunflights and deep narrative choices, EXE Killer aims to offer a highly replayable experience where you your decisions impact the story, the factions you encounter, and even the ending of the game. The setting is a character in itself, so you can think neon lit saloons, robotic outlaws, and vast deserts hiding secrets from a lost civilization. The game promises a unique fusion of genres, and it's one to watch if you're looking for something truly different. Monster Hunter Wilds is taking the beloved franchise into new territory. While Monster Hunter has always been about exploring vast, varied environments and taking down colossal beasts, Wilds promises to push this even further with a more open world design. The game's biomes are very vast, seamlessly connected and teeming with wildlife that interacts with each other in real time. You'll need to adapt to changing weather conditions, utilising environmental traps and tracking monsters across long distances. For the first time, the world of Monster Hunter feels like a cohesive ecosystem where every hunt is a dynamic, unpredictable adventure. Dune Awakening is the open world survival game set in the legendary universe of Dune. Navigating the harsh desert planet of Arrakis, you'll need to manage resources, build shelters and avoid massive sandworms that lurk beneath the sands. What sets this game apart is its focus on strategic survival, balancing faction alliances, trading spice and dealing with the ever-present threats from the environment and rival players. The game's open world sandbox design allows for endless possibilities in how you shape up your destiny on Arrakis. Whether you're exploring ancient ruins or just wanting to engage in combat or simply trying to survive, this game is going to be an intense, immersive experience. Next, we've got Atomfall, a game that blends sci-fi with survival in a way that feels fresh and exciting. This is set in a world devastated by a nuclear fallout, and you'll have to navigate a landscape filled with radiation, hostile faction, and mutated creatures across England. Atomfall offers a deep crafting system, base building and a storyline that really evolves based on your choices. You can ally with different factions, offering unique benefits and storylines, or you can go solo and carve your own path in this wasteland. The game's emphasis on exploration and survival means every journey feels like a fight for resources and information, making every decision crucial to your survival. Rounding out our list is Sniper Elite Resistance. The Sniper Elite series is just known for its tense tactical gameplay, and Resistance is taking that formula into a fully open world. 
Set during a fictional World War II scenario, you'll be behind enemy lines, taking out high value targets and sabotaging the enemy's plans. What's interesting here is how the open world design allows for multiple approaches to every mission. Whether you want to go in guns blazing or take a stealthier approach, the choice is truly yours. And of course, there's the series trademark X-Ray Kill Cam, which never gets old and returns in this game. This time though, with more open world freedom, you can set traps, manipulate the environment and use the world itself as a weapon. If you love tactical shooters with a ton of freedom, then Sniper Elite Resistance is going to be a blast and it comes day one onto Xbox Game Pass. And there you have it Xbox Nation, 15 huge open world games that are going to dominate your time in 2024 and into 2025. From high fantasy to post-apocalyptic wastelands, there's definitely something there for everyone. So, which one are you most excited for? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get hyped about these games together. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Xbox content every single day. Whilst you're here, why don't you check out our most recent videos of the best games coming to Xbox and Xbox Game Pass this week and if they're worth your time and money.